here with Christine and Neve. Did I say it right? Yes, you did. Okay. That took a lot of like mirror practice. It's cool. It's cool. It's a hard one to pronounce. It's not spelled anything at all how it's pronounced at all. Like where I don't know how MH translate into a, a V sound, but you know, we, we deal. What's the origin? It's Gaelic. Gaelic? Yeah. Okay. So I have to tell you, Christine, I cannot believe we're back here again. I don't know, like how many years ago did I first meet you in the parking lot? Like that sounds really classy. Oh gosh, yes. We met four years ago. Mm -hmm. In the parking lot, we were wearing purple because we were just soulmates from the beginning. And we've done a few interviews together, but we've also done an interview with one of my ex-girlfriends on the show. So this is a little weird. We're doing another interview with another girlfriend on the show. Lady. That's exactly why. I was like, we got to bring Neve in here. So, so tell me, I guess the opening question is, as you referenced, there are so many Fimogen fans. I'm a big Fimogen fan. I even went to the t-shirt store and made my own Fimogen t-shirt. Obviously. So I'm, I'm having a hard time with like Jack breaking up this like super Brangelina couple. Okay. Okay. Fair from enough. Degrassi. Are you getting that? I feel like Fimogen was such like a epic relationship and me and Annie were such good friends in real life. And when she left the show, I was like, oh my gosh, am I ever going to have like a friend like her or even a relationship like that again and then here comes ninth down the halls and she's like hi my name's Neve and I'm like it's ninth um, anyways and we're just like we're I love working alongside her she's obviously the biggest rock star like look at her um, so I think that fans will take to Jack Jin and um, but always have Vimogen in their hearts I say it again say it again Jack Jin <laughs> it's not Halloween okay so, um, that's how I feel about it. Oh my gosh. Now, is there, is there a pressure, Neve? You know, I mean, I know I can't, I'm talking about Annie a lot here, but you don't understand, okay? I was like a super big Fimogen oh, fan. don't worry, don't worry. I mean, I totally understand. I constantly on Instagram is like, um, it, there'll be like those little edits that are like, Fimogen or Jackagen? And then like everyone will comment below and uh, Fimogen usually outnumbers Jackagen like 18 to like, well, to like yeah, four. Yeah, but it's only like, um, yeah. I frankly think Jack and Jen is totally adorable. I love it. I like I, I in my little blurb that I did with um, some of the PR people on Degrassi, I totally fangirled over Jack and Jen. Like I think it's the cutest really I want an image in, in real life. Um, and uh, there's definitely a pressure, like huge pressure, especially with such like a devoted fan base. Everyone just like they they ex there's an expectation of like to be awesome <laughs> and it's it's scary so what is it and this is for both of you we'll start with Chris what is it about Imogen that she likes the bad girls you know I'm used to like girls that like the bad boys right. but innocent Imogen has this like streak where she only wants like people that will corrupt her you know Annie did a little bit Jack takes it to a whole new level this is the thing Imogen's not so good girl anymore like okay well she's like always a good girl but she kind of like goes and does her own thing and I think with Jack she Jack kind of, you know, shows her a different side of who, sh who Imogen is, so um, it's exciting, and I don't know, everyone loves some bad in their life. I feel like it took, it, took, it took Annie so long to take you there, you know, it took like Fiona that long to take you there. Jack comes in, two episodes in, and you're doing all this stuff, and I'm like, where's the I Imogen know. that like used to go and buy milk at the grocery store? <laughs> <I know. laughs> um, okay, well, first thing, one thing is like, Jack isn't actually... She's very cool, and she does like a lot of like pretty like rockin' stuff and like some some bad stuff. But she's actually like a very soft, like, yeah, yes. very soft character, and she's um, and you'll see that you'll see that yeah, it comes up. But like yeah, you look at her and you're like, okay, she throws axes, she smokes weed, and uh, she's from her parents are in the military, and you go, oh my gosh, she's a bad girl. And then, but it's funny because like behind all that she's actually she's really not like she's the kind of person who would rather just like hang out at home and watch good movies and which is personally like me I like to stay home and watch movies um, but yeah she's not she's not actually that bad but um, what I think it is is I think there's been a huge change in Imogen lately like a really really big one like she still dresses the same and she's still that quirky Imogen but like up until now it's been this sort of like kind of fighting back change mm -hmm. And she's, we've seen a huge development in her. And now all of a sudden, I think she's like, no, I want to try new stuff. You know what? Uh, it's, it's my life, and I can do what I want. And I think that's, that's one of the great things about Imogen, too, is that she doesn't apologize for who she is, ever. 
Do, do you feel like Jack is adding a new layer to Degrassi? I feel like, you know, they bring in a lot of new characters. I remember when Olivia came in, Anna came in. But I feel like, you know, when Neve came in, it's just like, man, step back, okay? The world better take notice. I know. I mean, with that hair, red lipstick, it's like, how can you not be like, that girl is... Trouble. Say, trouble. Say, trouble. Say the word ass? Yes. Badass. <laughs> She's crazy. Not like that. If, you had, if I knew you were going to say it like that, I would have vetoed it. Badass. No, 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 no. She's just, I think she's going to be a really great addition to the show, and I'm really excited for the fans to see more of her. And I think they're going to see a, a lot more of a likable side of her. I think yeah. she comes off really hard, as, yeah. as Neve said, but they'll see a likable side, which is exciting for Neve. Can you, can you talk a little bit about the pressures of coming into a show where I feel like it, it's, it just reminds me of my grade nine experience where like there's like a power table and then like you're looking at the table and then each year in grade 10 you move a little bit closer, in grade 11 you move a little bit closer and then finally by like grade 12 or in my day OAC, you know, you're actually like sitting at that table. So is that what it's like or has everybody embraced you right away? It's kind of like that, just in, there's no, it's not like, the, it's like that in the way that the seniors, especially, I, I know when I came in, like Luke and Christine and um, Azim was super friendly, but like still intimidating. Um, and <laughs> you were, you, she, no, Christine is so cool and like so like hip that when I walked in, I was like, oh my God. And she's just, she's like, I can't, I was like, how do I talk to her? I know, I, I have to kiss her but I don't know her. No, can I just say, <laughs> this girl walks in to the read-through with like boyfriend jeans on, red lipstick, like just like walks converse, just like the coolest girl ever. And I was like, oh my God, I want to be that one day. Like blonde, beautiful hair. Like I just can't even get over it. So don't even say that. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna tell you a secret about Christine that you can't tell her that I told you. We'll just like pretend she's not here. Did she tell you that she's the queen of Instagram? No. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. No, you are. You, your Instas are really hot. It's She's like, a hot gal. Oh she is hot. God. The queen of Instagram. Okay, you are. You are the trending page. How did you rock the ponytail braid? I don't. How did I rock the ponytail braid. You ace that. Oh Thank God. you. I don't know. I'm getting really embarrassed and blushy. Uh, every time I see her, I'm like, queen of Instagram. Give me some tips. Why? Give me some hashtags. She's like totally beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay. So so back on the topic, Christine. You know, you've been around. You've come to this party so much. Have you given Neve any advice on what to expect outside? Um, yeah, I just think you have to be prepared to meet a lot of people, take a lot of pictures, and I feel like when the new cast comes, they don't understand like the magnitude of how like big it is and how many people come. People are like, Neve, Neve, like saying your name. So I think just like the tips to give is just be calm, be cool, be collected, and yeah, you're fine. I think I think you're gonna get a lot of niams, niams. Oh yeah, I, it's so it's so funny because like sometimes I almost always like I'll get the random notification on my phone of somebody commenting on just like a random Instagram post of mine that are like, so how do you pronounce your name? And I'm like, I, mm, I need to like put it in my bio. Yes, I'm like, with like a million E's. Neve. And then uh, we'll be good. But it's actually a good name for fans to yell, right? Like Neve, Neve. It kind of sounds like me. Yes. I've answered the phone before and be like, it's Neve. And they'd be like, who's me? And I'm like, Neve. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, you know, it'll... It'll happen maybe sometime. <laughs> so, so we're here. It's the season 13 finale. Can you tell me what fans can expect heading into season 14? I, the graduation I know is coming oh up. Oh my gosh. Okay. The graduation's coming up. It's pretty much the saddest thing in my life. Oh. Um, but we still have some of the good new characters. Um, okay. Season 14 is going to be crazy. You're going to know a lot more about certain characters like the Hollingsworths and, oh, yeah. and um, Jack and... Um, yeah, there's going to be new like brand new characters that kind of have love interests with grade 12s. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, there's some um, little And it's going to be a crazy season because it's graduation time and everyone's just loving each other and sad. So, yeah. How many brothers and sisters does Miles have? Because I feel like every time I tune into an episode, there's like another Hollingsworth that like shows up. I mean, Hollingsworths are just all around grass. We just haven't met them yet, maybe. Yeah, just, they're, they're hiding. Okay. They're hiding in the pool house. Yeah. They come out sometimes, but like generally it's like, keep it secret, keep it but um, yeah, no, season 14, like drums, lots of drums. I don't know how you guys can say this with a straight friend. <laughs> drums and prom, so and there you go. Badass. Badass. Yeah. Badass. Yeah. Yes. 
and, and final question, if I gave you a blank script and I said you can play any character on Degrassi that's not your own for one episode, who would you like to play? Go to Christine first. Oh, no, I was going to say go to Neve first. Oh. Um, You're the veteran though, I got to go to you first. Okay, any character ever. Ever? I don't know. Well, this no, is we so gotta go like new generation. Okay. We're not gonna be like Snake or something. Okay, I, I just, I guess I would just say uh, Frankie because she's just like the coolest, so cute. Um, uh, this is actually the hardest question ever. Um, and she lives in that cool house, and I feel like she's just a good friend. Neve. I was gonna say Frankie ever. too. I was gonna say Frankie too. We're so in sync. Oh my god, there's a reason we're dating. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> uh, but honestly, like Sarah Wayzglass is like. She's, she's one of my best friends and like I love her to bits and her character is so sure of herself and assertive and like this little feminist sassy and I love her. Frankie's awesome. Like she's like, I read comic books. I'm not afraid of it. I can admit it. And like she's, she's a cool gal. I think, and she's, well, she dresses well and yeah, she's got, she she's got money. Um, so you know those are? Um, <laughs> The Hollingsworth Nerd. It's oh. like all the good base like personality characteristics and then it's like on the side the perk of money. Being a billionaire. Yeah, you know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Christine, thank you so much. Thank you. For the last time. Oh my god. Stop. Uh. <laughs> this is not the last time. Okay. Well no, I'm going to set, so Are we'll talk to you then. The yes, that's how we ended. Neve, thank you so much. Good to meet you.